Right, Lan, then uh, just quickly looking back to last week to get through in the Challenge Cup, you must have all been delighted with that. Yeah, definitely. We were really delighted with um, our performance, especially in the second half. Um, in the first half, we weren't uh, um, at our best, and um, obviously Hull made us pay for it. And um, obviously, at half time, Nathan Brown gave us a good telling off. And uh, we came out of the second half and pretty much dominated all for the whole second half. And then you've been using the week off the Sean Lunt's nipped out to the Rhinos, and Scott Moore's back at the club. Uh, are you pleased to see, see him back here? Yeah, it's, um, obviously, Scott's. Had his issues, but obviously that's in the past, and he'll be here to make an impact and redeem himself. So, um, looking forward to playing with Scott, and um, all the best to Sean Lunt. He's, he's a great player in himself. And Scott Moore, he's proved himself to be a very good player in his time at Saints and in his shots since elsewhere. Yeah, definitely. I mean, obviously, when he was here two years ago, he got international honours, so, and that one was Nathan Brown. So, I mean, obviously, Scott has got the potential to be in England international, so I'm sure he'll be make, looking to show that when he comes here. And this week then, up, up against Bradford, uh, they've been in good form lately, haven't they, since all of the problems off the field? Yeah, they're in great form. Um, all their forwards are pretty much back now and fully fit, and they're going strong. And um, obviously we'll have to be at our best to, to handle them, and uh, hopefully that's what we'll go out and do. And is it, are you a little bit wary when a team, like, everybody comes together in adversity? I suppose that happens in, in sport all the time. But after everything that's happened, they put all the fundraising activities together, and off the back of that, they've won three on the bounce against good teams as well. Is that a bit of a worry? Uh, well, I would say it's a worry, but obviously we'll be aware that the fact that they are playing well. Um, obviously, there'll be a lot of passion at the club because they're obviously they're all they're all there and they'll all want to stay there. And um, obviously, they want to sh show the crowds and try and get as big as crowd as they can. And obviously, that's what they'll be after doing, and they have been performing. So obviously, we'll have to be at our best to go out there and win. Obviously, like I say, you look at the table and they're still, they're still sitting top top of that. You must be a place to get back to Super League as well. Yeah, looking forward to it. Like we found this consistency, and obviously we've. We had that one game, bad game against Hull Cow, we were pretty unlucky against Warrington, so um, we need to go out there and have a good win against Bradford, ready for the, the Challenge Cup game the week after. And you're looking forward to, to playing at will be a big, big crowd as well there, won't it? Uh, I'm hoping so, it'll be like say, um, hopefully a lot of fans will follow and obviously a lot of our fans will come to watch us and um, it'll be a good challenge. And looking at the fixture list, it's a bit strange that you've got a game sandwiched in between the two Challenge Cup, but how important is it to, to focus 100% on this and make sure you, you keep yourself top of the league? Yes, um, obviously it's... Uh, we don't think about any other game apart from the game ahead of us and um, obviously we need to go out there and play well because Rothford are playing really well at the minute so we can't let them off.